over the blue line. Here comes Wall left circle, back kick, Combe twice scores! Max Comtois off the shoulder of Sterrett. It was the fifth longest game in AHL history. It took four overtime periods and 124 minutes and 20 seconds of game time to decide a winner as Maxime Comtois scored for San Diego to give the goals a 1-0 series lead on Friday night. Now despite the loss, Jay Woodcroft and the Bakersfield Condors remain upbeat heading into game two on Saturday night. What an effort by our group of Warriors out there. I mean, that's not easy playing that amount. And, uh, you know, like I said, there's a lot of good in the game. We'll take the good and we'll throw away the bad and make sure that we're resting up and hydrating and going to be ready to go back at her for tomorrow night. You know, there were numerous chances at both sides of the rink. Either team could have won. There's some great goaltending on both sides. Um, it was a heck of a hockey game. You know, before the series, I think we knew it was going to be a, a long contested uh, series, and um, they got a you know a good unfortunate bounce there on that uh, overtime goal, but um, could have went either way all night, and uh, both goalies played really great, and uh, just move on tomorrow and just kind of keep sticking with it. You kind of were in uh, a whirlwind there; you didn't even really realize there. Russ and I were talking in between periods, we're like, "Is this the third or fourth? We kind of lost track of what was going on, but. Um, you just kind of try to stay with it. Guys are cramping, just uh, battling through things. Obviously, uh, you know, everyone was a warrior tonight, so it's, uh, it's a good thing, good test for our group. I think uh, something that we can hang our hat on that we uh, got through it together, and we'll just build off of it. We've had the attitude this entire playoffs that um, we wanted our guys to park their emotions about 15 minutes after the game. So while this one doesn't feel that great right now. Um, you know, we, we chatted with our group after the game and said, hey, we got to get ready and, uh, to play a game tomorrow night. So it's all about making sure that we're getting our proper amount of rest and uh, we're coming in with a fresh mindset tomorrow and ready to, uh, ready to play a, a tough opponent. Brad Malone recorded his third multi-point outing of the postseason, while Patrick Russell has points in four of five Condors games in the Calder Cup playoffs. Shane Sterrett stopped 53 shots. Puck drop for Saturday night goes at 8 p.m. Mountain. Tony Brar or this TV.